It's your boy Odin from Host.Promo. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top eight VU frameworks that you can use for your projects, okay? And most of these are going to be web frameworks. A few of them are going to be hybrid, and a couple of them are going to be desktop as well as mobile. And if you don't know what Host.Promo is, it's a website to find the best web hosting companies and promotions. The first framework we're going to look at is Vudify. And this is a very, very popular framework in Vue.js and they have a ton of different components that you can use right off the bat. Look at this card component, for example. It's really, really sweet. Let me show you a few different cards you can do. You know, this very much looks like Google or something. It looks really, really nice. And they have everything from, you know, images to inputs to pretty much everything you can think of this framework has okay so they have so many UI components and things you can use it's a very popular framework the next one we're going to be looking at is Bufi and it's based on Balma and it's simply focused on being very lightweight okay so if we look at it it's very very simple but very nice at the same time like this is for example the upload UI component, okay? We'll look at, for example, the clock picker. Let's check this out. Boom, you can select AM, PM. That looks pretty cool. Select time. See, this is pretty cool framework, you know? So I think this one's pretty cool. It has its own style to it. I'll leave all the links down below so you can check them out. Next one we're gonna be looking at is very popular as well, and if you're using Bootstrap, this is a great framework to use. It works with Bootstrap, and now it works with Bootstrap 4, and yeah, so it's pretty much you can use. The code is very similar to Bootstrap, but a little bit different, but you're gonna be able to do a lot more and really interact with your Vue application, okay? Um, everything looks pretty identical to Bootstrap. It's not going to be different, um, but it's just going to be able to help you integrate your application, your Vue application with Bootstrap even more. Okay, next one we're going to be going over is Fish UI. This is a more simple um, web UI. So let me just show you a few examples. Pagination, very, very simple. Table is very simple. So this isn't anything fancy like the Balma framework. This one's just a very, very simple, simple. If you need something very simple, Fish UI, Fish UI may be a good choice. Next one we're gonna be looking at is quite interesting. It's called the Quasar framework, and you can use it for single page apps, server side apps, web apps, and you can even use it for hybrid mobile apps, okay? And electron, electron apps. So it can pretty much be used for almost anything. And they have, quite a big framework it has a lot in here so it has a massive color palette for example with a bunch of colors already ready to go and let me show you some other things for example we'll look at the slider it has a bunch of really cool sliders right out of the box you know usually you need an entire library for a slider you know and you if you use this framework you don't need any of that everything's already ready to go has a pretty cool, um, let's check this out, huh. So, and it even has a WYSIWYG editor. That's pretty awesome. So if you're trying to edit post and have fancy editing, WYSIWYG is the way to go, okay? Next one we're gonna be looking at is Vux. And this was built by the WeChat guys, I'm pretty sure. And most of the documentation is in Chinese, so it's a little bit more difficult to understand, but it is pretty awesome, and it's for mobile apps, okay? So let me just show you, this is the demo. You can see a few things here. We go back, go to the demo again, go to color picker, see the different color pickers. So it's pretty cool for mobile stuff if you're interested in building a mobile app. And it has all the things, it, it scrolls all the way down. So there's a lot of different things to choose from. So let's look at the load more, for example. It has load more buttons, pretty much everything. Very good for mobile apps, I think. And then this one is specifically focused on building desktop um, apps. And it's called Element, okay? And Element is pretty simple. I like the design. Let me show you a few of the components. 
So we go down and element is also in React and Angular. So if Vu is not, for example, your cup of tea, you can use React and Angular on this, which is pretty cool. And see, this is just a table. It has a nice design. It's not too fancy, but it's definitely not too simple. Then we'll take a look at progress bar. Let's see. So some pretty cool progress bars. I like how you can have the icon right at the end. And then the last one we're going to be looking at is a pretty lightweight framework, uh, similar to Fish, as in it's lightweight and simple. And it's called the AT UI Kit. Okay. And it's pretty simple, a little bit more advanced than Fish, but it has a nice design. I like it. Module one wasn't good. Let's look at the slider. Uh, has a pretty cool slider. So yeah, this one has a lot of different things as well. Let's look at the breadcrumb navigation. Pretty simple, pretty slick. And there you go, people. Eight different frameworks you can choose from. I will link these all down below. And if you have any suggestions on a framework that I missed, then leave it down below. If you have any questions about Vue.js or anything like that, leave it down below and make sure to check out host.promo. There's like $230 in free trials of hosting going on right now. We also show you to where, get, where to get free domain promotions and different things like that. And I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to keep rocking it with Vue.js and have an awesome day. Peace out.